All right, so I know why you probably clicked on this video. You wanna know what's the best weapon to use in New World. And I'm not gonna sit here and blow smoke for 10 minutes to get some kind of ad revenue, milestones, so I can make money, whatever. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna tell you straight up what's going on. Uh, I have a lot of experience in the PVP aspect of New World. Um, duels and open world. And in my experience, having used pretty much every weapon in the game, I've had the most fun with the hatchet. So the fun thing about the hatchet is it's got a few different um, attributes you can put into. Strength is your main with dexterity as your second. The good thing about having the dexterity as the secondary uh, skill is that it scales with this and your musket. So you can actually carry a ranged weapon, whereas most of your other strength weapons, you don't really get to scale with dex. It's only these two, hatchet and sword and shield. So you automatically can stack on dex a little bit. As you can see, I haven't. But anyway, you can if you want to. Uh, just let you get some range. You might not need it though, let me show you why. So with hatchet, of course if anyone hasn't used it there are two skill trees berserker and throwing and as you can see one's better than the other um i wouldn't put anything into throwing until you you've really got berserker kitted out um throwing literally just lets you throw a hatchet um and like i said you can use a gun and it's gonna be a little bit easier throwing actually consumes stamina as well so it doesn't set you up for a good 1v1 whenever you're closing distance which is kind of what you want to use your range for in this build um so first you want to start with berserker increases damage by 20 percent for 12 seconds um if you plan to tank you can use a taunt gem with it and you can tank with that um i just went straight down the berserker skill tree of course you can do what you want but i just found the most use out of this um i went berserker and then I actually picked up Feral Rush. Feral Rush does two hits, one for 115, the second for 130. And then on top of that, you can add the 20% bonus damage with low health. So if you've played other games with like execution abilities, it's similar to that. On top of that, if you've got a runner on your hands in open world, uh, if it hits in the back when you pick up this ability, it immobilizes it for two seconds. So really useful. And the reason why I say, you know, going after a runner is because your second Berserker ability on the hunt increases your movement speed by 20%. So what my opening most of the time is I'll usually hit somebody with the um, flame from the sharpshooter skill tree of musket, a little powder burn just to get a dot on them. Uh, you can do overpower if you want, but... This does 150 damage, this does 110, and then deals 20% weapon damage over 9 seconds. So you do more tick damage in the long run, so it's a better opener. Um, after your opener, you can pop Berserker and speed up to them depending on how far they are. If they're in mid-range, i just go ahead and run up on them. The reason I wouldn't pop it just yet is it depends on what weapon they're using. If they're using Spear, I would pop whenever I'd get in range because right here... Berserk actually removes crowd control effects, so your slows, stuns, roots. If you're going up against a spear, which is a highly used weapon in PvP due to the outrageous amount of stuns you get, you can pop it as soon as you get in range because chances are, anytime you play a PvP game in general, the first thing someone's going to do is pop a stun, let loose on you with a combo, hit you with another stun. With this... You trigger it to get out of the stun, and then you can hit an opener of Feral Rush or maybe a combo into a heavy. And then your last one, which is the most important. I've won duels purely off of this ability. You cannot be interrupted while you're berserking. So you can immediately counter their initial stun and then follow up with just not being able to be interrupted. Now, uh, interrupted and staggered are a little bit different than stunned so that's why I say you want to pop that if it, they have a stunning weapon because stuns just take, take away complete mobility everything um, uh, interruptions are the ones where you have a 
light combo attack and they stop you from hitting. That's usually done by heavy attacks and certain abilities of other weapons. So with this ability, once you pop Berserk, you can just click away. I've won multiple duels just off of clicking nonstop. It's it's really easy. I promise you this is the easiest the easiest build in the entire game. It's just hatchet berserker and just click 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 and you win. This one right here, three light attacks gets you a 15% damage absorption because you want to hit your three hit combo. Usually you're not gonna land the fourth, they'll probably dodge out unless they are heavy weapon. Then that's a different story. You'll have to you wanna hit that combo because you want to hit that last heavy. Another good thing about Hatchet is its um, kind of comboing abilities are really versatile. So you can do a one hit, two hit, three hit, and then of course your four hit with your fourth being a, like a little bit over, slower overhead. Now, not every weapon can do it, but a good amount of weapons can is you can substitute one of your lights for a heavy. And like I said, you want to get your three for that fortify, and then you can follow up with the heavy if they're using a uh, a blocking build with a uh, heavy armor. Now, as you can see, I'm running medium. I could actually wear something a little bit heavier. Generally, with medium builds, you'll probably have like a light, a bunch of medium armor. You can have medium across the board, uh, or you can have two heavies and then a medium light light. That's generally your best bet. Um, like I said, you can stack dex and strength, but a big focus of this build is con. So here you see a plus con, another plus con, and more plus con, and then my trinkets also constitution, and then more max health. The reason why this is a big deal is because, like I said, with the hatchet ability here, you cannot be interrupted. Any fight that you find yourself in where you just have more constitution than your opponent, then you can just click nonstop until you win. Because there's not very many weapons that do such an outrageous amount of damage close range over a berserking hatchet that they can simply out DPS you. And nine times out of ten you're going to interrupt their combos that maybe could. Um, so I would recommend strength and con if you want to get a little bit of range if you're not comfortable go dex but as you can see I've never I've never lost a duel I've never died in PvP ever in this game I'm level 20 right now uh, and the beta I played longer uh, but right now I'm just on 20 this is my second level 20 uh, on the live servers um, you just want to make sure to hit these little tiers whenever you can because as you can see you get 5% to melee light attacks and that you know stacks with your three piece opener that gets you the fortify and if you get con you also get the better consumables and you know you get your secondaries with all these with the speeds but you want to make sure to hit these tiers whenever you can because it's really going to help you out in your pvping uh pve wise which is dungeons open world it's going to be really easy there's really nothing bad pve wise um, just all different. This game just about different play styles. Uh, over between Rending Throw and uh, Raging Torrent, I would actually go Rending Throw. Raging Torrent, you do not get the uh, damage absorption from the three light attacks. I wouldn't. I believe it gives you a speed boost though. Let's see. Yeah, so you do get a uh, haste on it. So that's decent, but it's not a huge, a huge um, difference maker. I would go rending throw first just for the damage absorption decrease um, but that's gonna be kind of my build uh, I'll look into doing more builds I have some good ideas I've had some uh, good experience with other combinations um, I'll just say up front one of them spear and sword and shield is what I would consider um, kind of second to this build just because spears are so good against uh, everyone pretty much but berserker because you can cancel out at the end of the day do what you want do what makes you happy have fun with this game it's a game all about having fun so build however you want whatever play style you like if you like being a fire guy ice guy healer tank tank uh, do what you want 
If you just like the look of a weapon, play that weapon. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to sweat. It's no big deal. But if you guys like this, uh, I'll keep making videos. I'll make some build videos. Um, I can also show you kind of the uh, good paths to take for trade skills. As you can see, I've done a decent bit of trade or skilling. Um, not so much on weaponsmithing. Hey, oh, another thing I need to point out. Um, as you can see, my where is engineering? It's it's a um, it's usually only workbench weapons. However, there are two weapons that you make with engineering, and that's spear and hatchet. On top of that, hatchet and musket, or sorry, musket and bow are also made with engineering. So a good thing about this build as well, if you're running musket and hatchet, is that you only have to level one skill to make the weapons. You don't have to do weapon smithing and engineering for ranged or whatever you would do for any other class. That'd generally be what you do. So as you see, engineering is pretty high and you can make just about everything. As you can see, you get your hatchets here and you can also make your sickle, you know, your crafting tools. So I'm all, I'm all the way up to the point to where I'm actually waiting for my town here to craft a uh, level four workbench so I can continue crafting. At the moment, we're only a level three. So it's, it's a really good build for crafting as well. Um, like me, you might fall behind in weaponsmithing, but that's another story. You can catch up easily. Just make sure to get that metal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but Feel free to follow, hit me up on my socials, same as my YouTube, Board Yakim. If you have any kind of questions, if you want some recommendations on what you should do. And I hope you guys have a good day.